just anyone could. <laughs> Such a good opportunity, and um, yes, yeah, once in a lifetime. All last week. <laughs> really? Yeah. We'll beat her. Will you? Yeah. <laughs> I am really confident. Oh, yeah. I think it'll do well. We've yeah. really worked hard. Got good marks in their exam. So this year we're back with a, a couple of extra students, and uh, hopefully we'll do as well this year. <laughs> Martha. Oh, no pressure, Martha. <laughs> <laughs> Us three doing word, and those two doing Excel. and um, I'm quite scared. <laughs> I'm Lucy, but I feel a bit nervous, but I'll be alright when we get in there. Yeah, just to relax and just take one question at a time. So I think the winner will actually need to get 100% today. Are you all feeling confident? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> well, Microsoft is very excited about this competition. My name's Terry Killer and I work for Microsoft and I'm a skills manager here at Microsoft and I look after Microsoft's educational programs for schools, colleges and universities and workforce training providers. You guys are all here today for a fantastic competition so uh, I know you've all worked really hard to get this far and I hope it's a great day for you. It leaves me to introduce uh, Marie Taylor. Every year these finals get more difficult the people, the students competing, get higher marks. The competition gets stiffer. Last year, we had 250,000 candidates worldwide from Japan, United States, Singapore, Germany, Italy, China, etc. So your competition is going to be strong. But you're ready for it, aren't you? Every year, we've had a United Kingdom winner and uh, this year will be no exception to the rule. So you are one percent of the UK population participating in this exam this year. Everybody sitting in this room is already a high achiever in Word and Excel. Yeah. 
I thought it was alright, but like, it just seems like the other test I've done before. Yeah. Here comes the hot, oh, here comes the hot paper. <laughs> Come on, Martha. Where are you from, Martha? Sort Tree. Sort Tree, how'd it go? Really well. Yeah, I thought it was fine. Yeah. Fell easy, yeah. Mm, it, it was alright. It was okay, yeah? Yeah, I found like a couple of questions hard, but. Yeah, was it more, was it harder than you thought then? Um, it was alright. Alright. Yeah. It wasn't too bad. Uh, 800 and something. Yeah, it was alright. There's a couple of questions that I didn't have on my last exam that right. I found quite hard, but then I skipped them and then managed to find a way to do them. 929. Did you ask very good? Excel. Excel. Is it harder than you thought then? It was, yeah. Yeah. Messed up in two questions, a couple of questions that I forgot to do. You've got to do them. Yeah, you've got to do them. Um, and what score did you get? I'm not telling. Not telling? No. Oh. 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 Yes, wait. Good. <laughs> How'd you go? It was alright. A bit nervous. Were you? Yeah. And did you calm down as you went through it, or were you nervous all the way through it? I had to keep resetting the questions because I was nervous. Like I made one little mistake, and so I had to reset the whole question. Uh, it went good. Yeah? It went good for me, yeah, yeah. Did it? Did you think it was easier last time? <laughs> all right, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it went better than I thought it would. Yeah. I wish I could get a thousand in the uh, word exam. Yeah. <laughs> I'm slightly disappointed because oh, yeah. I think I felt like I could have done better. Yeah. Um, I know they've done very, very well. I'm very pleased and proud of all of them. Um, I think it's got to be a combination of both. I mean, it's all well and good coming out with a perfect score and taking the full amount of time. Then if someone gets a perfect score and beats you, then it's mm. kind of a bit pointless. So. so We've done really well at Hatfield, so we're expecting high things. So. Anybody, any ideas who's going to Hawaii? <laughs> <laughs> So what I'd like to say is a very big thank you to Sawtree Community College. <laughs> Chiselhurst and Sidcup Grammar School. <laughs> Hathershaw College of Technology and Sport. <laughs> and Hatfieldville Visual Arts College. <laughs> The Red Letter Day, sponsored by City and Gills, for word, goes to Jason Dunkoff. Did you think that? Well done. And second prize for word goes to Connor Stainford. Well done, Connor. So number one, first prize goes to Michael Patel. And who was there when we came in? Okay. The red letter day that goes to third place, Matthew Yay. Chastney, Sorcery Community College. Whatever you choose. Well done, Matthew. Well done. Second prize with the Cybershot camera, XL, Sunny Gurren. Is this where we had our time? How about how many? Five minutes? Congratulations, Sunny. Now, when Sunny came in, we said he was going to be the winner. This year, in Excel, Sonny had exactly the same score as the winner. They both had exactly the same score. The difference was in the time. The next person did it five minutes earlier than Sonny, so well done. First place, Excel winner, Philippa Dunlop. <laughs> Philippa. Sorry, Hawaii. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, Philippa, I will look after you in Hawaii. Thank and you and I will have a great time. Okay? Yeah. Well done, Philippa. Um, you're going to have to come to Hawaii with me. I'm, I'm not joking. I'm, be I'm being serious. I've won it. We have been running a worldwide event today at Microsoft in Chertsey. And your daughter, Philippa, is a star. I'm so nervous. Just, just do it. Just wait. So 
out. What does it feel like to be the winner, the number one person representing the United Kingdom in Hawaii in July? It's really good. Um, yeah. You, you, are you very excited about it or are you just still very nervous? It hasn't really sunk in yet, but I'm really excited about going. I'm proud that I've, like, they've got another one, like a winner for their school game. I'm happy that I've done it. <laughs> but I realised because Sonny told me he had the same mark as me and I knew I'd come out before him. So, so when I said we know now who's the winner, yeah. who knew? <laughs> Open the no, I'm not really gutted. I mean, I was happy at least just to come here in the first place and get such a score. And I wasn't really nervous in the first place. And finishing the top three anyway, I thought that's a big enough achievement. That is a big achievement. Yeah, it does. All, all the IT teachers get us, get us revising and prepared for all the tests. There is a saying that the education that students receive is only as good as the teacher, and I think this is pretty clear in this case. Thank you very much. Where is Okay, yes, we uh, have a, a special innovation day where Microsoft is showing off some of its new technologies and some of its skills programs across the whole piece, both in private and public sector. And uh, what we are after with Michael, who had a fantastic success last year, is to ask him to come along and attend the day and represent Microsoft skills on one of our um, IT pods, we call them. So Michael will be there representing schools as part of the continuum of education, schools, colleges, universities and workforce training providers as a continuous professional development programme for, for the UK in terms of ICT skills. So it's absolutely fantastic for, for us to have Michael come along and, and for Michael as part of his continuing professional development. I feel that Microsoft and Circuit have done a lot for me and um, anything I can give back in return would be a pleasure. So uh, I guess it's something you have to do being a national champion. So. <laughs> I'll, I'll take as it comes and I'll do it. The obviously. hassles of being a celebrity manager. Yeah, of course. And Yumera, you're the IT Academy manager, and of course, Michael comes from Chiselhurst and Sidcom, who is an IT Academy school. Um, and I suppose from that point of view, you're very pleased to be participating in the Innovative Day with Michael? Well, I think we're very proud of what Michael's achieved and, and the whole Certiport. Uh, worldwide championships because it raises aspirations, it gives new opportunities and it's really celebratory at the end of the day he's validating the skills he has and it's proven in industry so very very pleased. Bye.